I gotta clear something up here. With all these pro postal videos, I get plenty of questions about Eternal Damnation, the postal 2 mod that I've actually never played very much of, because when it came out, it made my PC cry. It just couldn't handle all the zombie action. But it's been over a decade, kids, and I'm ready to really dive into this horror show. I consider it a whole new game because while it has the postal stuff in it, the zombies and such, this is an entirely new campaign with new characters, new voice acting, new weapons, which we've actually seen a lot of those before, because they got ported into the re-release Postal 2. This mod, this is a weird one. And I've never covered a mod on this channel, because usually I don't want to shit on independent game designers who don't get paid to make a thing. So let me get this out of the way. I don't hate Eternal Damnation at all. It's a little janky, it crashes sometimes, but it's based on Postal 2, so of course it does. I mean, come on. Eternal Damnation comes from Resurrection Studios, and it is the edgiest goddamn thing ever. It's Postal 2, but with horror. And more gore, yes, more gore. And they don't take your pissing function away, it's madness. It's one of the most high-profile Postal 2 mods, to the point where it was sold with the Postal Fudge Pack, along with Postal 1, 2, Apocalypse Weekend, and A Week in Paradise. This was before Postal 3 came out, not that I think that they would include that. If you want to play this for yourself for free, you can! If you download the free version of Postal 2 Share the Pain, you can run the mod with that, like I did, and it works fine. Well, it works as good as any Postal 2 thing does. And you know what? It's pretty good. If you don't want spoilers, leave now, because I'm going to talk about all of this. It's fucking bananas. You're John, and John is in the Happy Hill Insane Asylum because this dude tried to sexually assault his big titty goth girlfriend, and so John kicks the shit out of him and throws him down some stairs. Twice. <laughs> oh boy, this is a little gorier than Postal 2. Looks like they added more brains than are actually in the skull for that effect. Something funny is happening at this asylum. I'm stuck with just my fists right now. Your health is a blood pack, not a number. Somebody's running around the asylum killing people besides me. <laughs> One guy is a meat cleaver, which is gonna come in handy real soon. Once you get introduced to guys with guns, it's not like in Postal 2 where you can tank bullet wounds. Motherfuck. This 9mm I got fires two shots at a time for some reason. <laughs> this is the hardest part of the game for me by far, because you don't have a ton of ammo and these guys spawn out of nowhere, sometimes they'll just fucking kill you. <laughs> However, pistol versus melee attackers is just brutal. Now, when I say Eternal Damnation is gory, I mean it's Event Horizon deleted scenes gory. In the Asylum's lobby, there's 15 orderlies waiting for you, and some of them have guns, most of them don't, most are chasing after you with meat cleavers. So this Asylum is obviously one of those 18th century bedlam places where everything is terrible and these people deserve to die. Big man with a gun. Oh. Oh, yeah. Fight like yeah. Who gave these medical professionals meat cleavers? Outside, the cops are waiting. I'll tell you one thing Eternal Damnation has over Postal 2, the environments. Most of them have great little details in them, but more on that stuff later. We got a big titty goth girlfriend to visit once we kill all these cops who alternate between hating me and panicking. How about some of this? Let's skip the part where I violently murder suspiciously monochrome individuals in these urban areas. I'm pleading the fifth on that. There's a SWAT team out here trying to make trouble, and they have the machine guns that I need. I feel like I'm doing more damage to them than usual, but that could just be the blood geyser effects that this mod added. Alright boys, looks like we got a fucking riot about to break out over here. Let the fucking lunatic go, we got bigger fish to fry. Yeah, okay. I know what you're thinking. Sivvy, when is this gonna get crazy? John? Is that you? Lori, they're after me. I need somewhere to hide out. Oh, uh, no way, dude. This isn't gonna work. If you're gonna get her on your side after escaping the loony bin and murdering dozens of people, you need to at least bring flowers. Hey, I'm thirsty. You got any water? No, not bottled. Just sink water. I don't believe in paying for anything you can get for free. Yeah, never mind. Fuck it. Why don't you go to the museum where I work? You can hide there. I've got the keys. Cool, that might work, shit. 
Now I just have to leave the apartment and... Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm John Pullen. In other news, there was a record turnout at the Museum for the Holy Water of Lazarus exhibit. The water from the Dead Sea that is said to have been used by Jesus Christ to resurrect Lazarus was found in Berlin. Rumor has it that Adolf Hitler... Oh my god. Okay, that's... That's just perfect. We've got insane asylums, we've got Jesus Jews, we got Hitler. This one has it all, kids. Oh yeah. Instead of crack, we get a nice relaxing high. I guess it's better than what we've been doing for health so far, which is drinking blood. Uh... Eternal Damnation is the edgiest thing ever created. When they released it in the Postal Fudge Pack, it didn't come on a disc, it came on a fucking quadruple-edged razor blade. You couldn't even install it without cutting yourself. So let's get blazed and murder everybody in this apartment building because this is still a postal game, isn't it? Sure, we start out with burglars, but somebody sets the place on fire. I wake up in a hospital that's obviously haunted. There's the killer! Get him! You just signed your death warrant, fuckhead. <laughs> Shit, that's the way out, but those fucking boxes are in the way. So what do we do about that? I need to find something that'll blast them out of there. Now that's problem solving the postal way. Eventually you get to John's neighborhood and his house is full of some obviously stupid burglars who probably should have watched the news since they've been talking about the whole asylum thing. Hey cocksucker. I got an idea. How about you let me out the fucking gates, and I won't cut your balls off and suffocate you to death with them. No can do, I just seen some burglars go in them houses. I called the cops already, but I'm gonna keep the tunnel locked off until the cops get here. Man, fuck the cops. I'll take care of the pussies myself. You can't do that to me! There's only one place to get all the information you need to know. Channel 3 News at 5, 6, and 10. Up to the minute, in-depth, late-breaking news that affects you. Oh, damn, that zombie thing happened fast. There seems to be some kind of plague or epidemic spreading throughout Hassle Ridge. Estimated casualties have reached an all-time high. It's the apocalypse! Again! This right here... It's around the time I stopped playing Eternal Damnation when I got it all the way back in like 2006 because it slowed my computer to a crawl. When they talk about a zombie apocalypse, they're not fucking around. You don't start off facing a single zombie. Oh no, there's goddamn two dozen of them right away. They use the Postal 2 Apocalypse Weekend zombie rules, so it's all about destroying the heads. From this point forward, it's so many zombies and so much gore that even modern computers chug once in a while. Check it out. See all that? The intestines, the limbs, the half a frame per second? This is some Savini Day of the Dead levels of gore on a massive scale, and I wouldn't have it any other way. If this is the apocalypse, it's about time to find some Jesus, so we go to Father Winston. Hey, Father Winston, how you doing, man? Hi, John. Oh, you got holy water spilled all over the floor. How'd that happen? Did you do that? I don't know how that happened. I've never poured too much holy water in my life, and I never will. Okay. Oh yeah, sure, okay, Father. Real convincing. What the hell is going on, Father? Eternal damnation says in the good book that when innocent blood is spilled, the devil will come to earth, and the battle for good and evil will be fought. John, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I don't know what the fuck's going on, though. I just got attacked by a mob of psychopaths. We're not using the Z word yet. Lori, what the hell is in your hand? I thought you said you never drink bottled water. I don't. It's just some garbage I found. I don't like to litter. Oh, I believe you, but only because you're fine as hell, girl. I'd get like eternally like damned for you. It seems like it was only yesterday when we were back in high school. When you were practicing your little witchcraft and dressing all gothic. Hey, you better get inside before the police see you. This is a healthy relationship. My 
god. These are fucking zombies. And then John was a zombie. I can't believe it took me that long to drop that one in. There's so many places you could use it, it's just... Now, the museum is both my favorite and least favorite level in Eternal Damnation. Why my favorite? It's pretty much the most bloody, brutal zombie thing I've ever played. You got a counter up there, see that? Hundred zombies. Kill a hundred zombies and you can move on. And right at the beginning, you get this awesome drill. But that's not the star of the show, kids. Oh no, because when you're trying to find the one health pickup in the whole goddamn museum... Oh god, yes. Oh, baby, I'll never leave you again. Happy days are here again. It's not as overpowered as the ported version in Postal 2, but... Oh, it's so satisfying. The only projectile weapon I've gotten so far that destroys the heads outright instead of shooting them off. However, there's these elevators that don't work. They don't work. They get you to the second floor, where you need to go to kill all the zombies. But if you're trying to ride them down, good fucking luck. Because you'll accidentally fall on top of them, lose some health, and then they shoot right up and crush you to death. It's not good. I don't know why the triggers for them are so fucked up, but I had to jump down from the balcony twice to get where I needed to be. Ah. That Lazarus water's here too, with helpful history. The holy water you see before you, according to the Old Testament, is believed to be the actual holy water Jesus used to perform... Ah, oh, swing and a miss, eternal damnation. I'm not a religious scholar, but I'm almost positive Jesus wasn't in the Old Testament. Zombies, maybe. But zombie Jesus wasn't until the New Testament. It's like saying that Jason is the killer in the original Friday the 13th. I mean, all religion is bullshit. <laughs> Once you kill the zombies, there's a boss fight with a winged skeleton who throws dynamite. So let's get up close and personal. Looks like you've got a cavity, Mr. Skeleton. <laughs> it's time for, you guessed it, a sewer level. I gotta say, this gameplay, it's not bad. Repetitive, yes, but it is a zombie game. That's to be expected. It's time for some character development now. Whoa, Lori, what's wrong? Why are you mad at me? You, you left me alone, again. Again? Yes, again. Just like you did in high school. Never leave your big titty goth girl behind. Never. Everybody wants one. They all draw them on the Twitter and the TV and art. Am I memeing, Daddy? Yes, again. Just like you did in high school. No, that's different. I was forbidden to see you back then. My father told me to stay away from you. Damn, if I'd landed a girl like that in high school, my dad would have thrown me a party and then probably fucked her first to assert his dominance. Joke's on him. He got sent up the river for robbing a liquor store, and I used that money to buy a Voodoo 2 card in 1998. Man, let me tell you something. You gotta play Unreal on a Voodoo 2 card. It's magical. It's so fucking cool. That means John has to go confront his father about this, and his dad works at the carnival because of course he does. Why wouldn't he? John finally takes his truck. I don't know why he's been walking everywhere if he has a truck. Whoa! That is some extreme driving. I think I know why he doesn't use the truck. It's safer to walk. Dad? John! Hey, Dad. How you doing? Are you okay? What's going on? I have no fucking idea. I do. I do. The Lazarus water is turning people into zombies and your girlfriend is in on it. So maybe this end of the world thing ain't so bad. Why did you forbid me to see Lori anymore? Back when we were in high school. Was it because she pretended to be a witch? No, John. She was raped. What? Uh... She was raped by Father Winston. The police found her tied to his bed and he was sitting on top Oh god, of hit the content button. Nope. No, 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 no. We're moving on. I'm not making a joke about a Catholic priest raping a girl. I didn't want you to get a disease from that fucking pedophile. Stop! Please tell me you're lying to me, Dad. But first, a fun carnival. Oh shit, Gary, what have they done to you? What's happening? Zombies out of the ground, zombies floating, oh god. Oh fuck me, what is happening? Whoa, hey man, take it easy. How do I walk to the city in subway? We'll be, oh no. Boxes, Katie! Black boxes! Black boxes, Katie! Everywhere! Fuck! Come to me. Come here. 
I'm a little torn on this one, kids. I mean, she looks ready to go. Come to me in hell. Never mind. Three minutes is all it is. No! <laughs> no one can touch that place. Hold now. on tight. The ride might get a little bloody. No, not the tacos. Guys, can you give me a hand? Oh, Jesus Christ! I must stop this train! What? No, not again, not again! Oh god, it's Jigsaw Gary and he's got a fucking chainsaw! Medication time! Medication time! Okay, I think we're good. That whole... Ooh, the circus and the Gary clowns. Oh, hold, hold on. Oh, I think we're good. We're almost out of the subway and some rednecks show up. I shouldn't trust these guys. Hey, dude. Good to see you. I thought we were the last goddamn human in this town. Okay, sure. That guy's about as southern as a diverse gene pool. Yeah, dude. What are you up to? Fuck, it's a long story, man. I just wrecked a whole fucking subway train trying to locate this motherfucker I trusted my entire life, and now I have to kill him. I'm not sure that's an accurate summary of what happened, but... Dude, watch out! Watch your back! <laughs> oh, dude, that was close. Yeah, dude, you should be really glad you found us, because around here you gotta watch your ass. Oh, damn! Stop right oh, there! Fuck. Stop! There's one of them! What? Get him off of me! Best. Shoot him! Please! They're everywhere! Shoot him! Get him off of me! Get him off! Oh ah. crap! What the fuck is going on here? Oh god, the drugs must not be wearing off. Am I seeing this? Now we go to the mall, and if the mall level in your zombie game is shit, you gotta scrap everything and start over. This one, though, it's pretty impressive. I actually really like the design of it. The layout, the environmental detail, the atmosphere. You can barely remember it's postal, too. There's a couple of odd things, like this untextured switch bottle. This mall isn't as open as a mall usually would be, but it works really well for the gameplay. This, I would say, is the exact moment I realized that I should have played this instead of Land of the Dead Road to Fiddler's Green, because it's a way better zombie game. You get outside the mall and take to the streets, and you find a cop who is suspiciously nonchalant about this whole zombie apocalypse thing. Soon enough, you find your truck in the middle of this traffic jam. I, I don't know how it got there from the carnival, but it did. Oh yeah, Fort Tough, like a rock. Rock, flag, and eagle, and oh. Okay. Well, it works the second time around, and we get to the graveyard. Of course, the graveyard is full of zombies, but what's this? Skeletons? Spooky. Are these the ones they use for Postal 2 Halloween events? I forget, it's been... Well, it's been a year since I checked out Postal 2's Halloween event. We're here to confront Father... Oh, fuck! That's a little rash. I don't even have an Uzi. Where did you get that? You're a fucking child molester! Oh, fuck, here we go again. I never raped her, John. I never raped her. Shut the fuck up! I trusted you. You know, I'm writing the script for this, and John's lines from now on are in all caps. I was falsely accused. Nothing ever happened. She was never raped. The media only reports the bad things. You never hear about when someone is found innocent. That's why they let me go, or I would still be in jail, rotting. Fuck you! Then why the fuck did they find you on top of her while she was tied up in your fucking bed? I didn't want to tell you this, John. But I performed an exorcism on her. What? Okay, so this priest isn't a rapist, he's an exorcist. Phew! I'm glad we don't have any rape in the episode. Just demonic possession and a violent zombie holocaust. And this priest sounds really chill for someone who just got shot in the face with an Uzi. So the exorcism was never finished. They interrupted you. Have you, have you looked, looked outside, outside lately? lately? Everybody, Everybody is sick and dying. Lori, what the hell is in your hand? I thought you said you never drink bottled water. No, not bottled. Just sink water. I don't believe in paying for anything you can get for free. Our museum has the original holy water that Jesus used on the resurrection of Lazarus. I just wanted to congratulate you for finally getting Lori to come to the church. 
Oh, you got holy water spilled all over the floor. How'd that happen? Did you do that? I don't know how that happened. I've never poured too much holy water in my life, and I never will. Eternal damnation. I am Mr. Kobayashi. 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 Tell me every last thing I've got. The greatest trick the that devil ever pulled is still possessed. Was convincing the world he didn't exist. Katie, all black boxes on deck. This is not a drill. She's the one who mixed in the holy water of Lazarus with the other shit and turned everyone who touched it into these undead creatures. Oh, John. I knew you would come. How does it feel, John? How does it feel knowing that you've spilt innocent blood? Uh, well... This can't be good for me, but I feel great. How does it feel knowing that you're the reason behind our eternal damnation? Okay, now that's not fair. I didn't spike the town with zombie Jesus juice. Nice full frontal devil girl nudity, by the way. You got anything a little classier? You stupid fucking cunt! Cool. I'm sending you back to hell where you belong. Um, I don't think so. More zombie killing followed by fighting a devil woman with a samurai sword. I'm having some Paradise Lost flashbacks here. Thank God her naughty bits are covered in shadow and blood splatters or else I couldn't show any of this. Once a demon woman is dead, you go into the back room of this church and she's gone full goth again. Awesome. You go, girl. Let's destroy the world together. While you were playing with my pets at the museum, my little lab rats, I went to the town water filtration plant. Blessed by the hand of God, so it must be good, huh? Payback is such a bitch. I love you. Wait, sorry, what's happening? All right, I'm being chased by ten topless women with chainsaws. And I can't show you guys most of it. What did I say? Fucking bananas, right? But it's still Postal 2 AI, so if you kick their asses hard enough, they get discouraged and try to run away. Well, hello, John. You took your time. I'm afraid we started this party without you. And so I closed this ritual with the one soul of the one man that I truly hate. Let it bring about eternal damnation. Stop saying that! Yeah, shut up, old man. I'm gonna summon the devil, fucking boomer. Aww. Do you feel left out? Like I'm not giving you enough attention? Baby, we can still work this out. We got each other, and that's all that matters. Asylums, zombies, devil worship, ten naked ladies with chainsaws. Nothing can get between us. You and me, baby, we're solid as a rock. Excellent work, my child. Now come, kneel at my feet where you belong. Lori? Laura, you got something you want to tell me? This guy bothering you? Let me elucidate. <laughs> Laura, you're leaving me for this foppish fucking leathery gargoyle winged fucking hyper edge lord? <laughs> <laughs> I think we should see other people. Fuck. If there's one thing video games have taught me, it's how to deal with fucking demons. Fuck you, Satan. I'm a man and a half. Don't worry, baby. I'm no savior either. I'm sure I'll be joining you soon. In eternal damnation. Oh, uh, yeah, I get it. I didn't want to say this before, but somebody needs to run some noise reduction on your voice clips, you know what I'm saying? And that's the end! Roll credits! Look, he's back in the asylum! Or is he? Because there's a post credit scene. Lori... I can't live without you. I said I would never leave you. And I'm never going to leave you. I'll never leave you again, Lori. Never.
Return to Sanity? Don't mind if I do. There you have it, kids. Eternal Damnation. The bloodiest, boobiest, edgiest zombie mod ever made. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda had a blast play at most of it, and it only crashed a couple of times. I was gonna do the thing, you know, like in YouTube videos where they recreate the end of the thing that they're talking about, but I dare anyone to get 10 topless women, let alone 10 chainsaws, and a goth chicken. I forget what I was talking about. Happy Halloween, kids. May your candy be free of razor blades, and your parties not have that one asshole who still dresses like Heath Ledger's Joker. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Have some self-respect.